So, on a Sunday, April 3rd, I arrive at John F. Kennedy Airport in New York City at 5.30 in the morning. 5.30. Jet blue. It's a zoo already. Airline terminal is a zoo. All right? The uh, feds checking people in, shaking them down, throwing stuff all over the place. Just a zoo. Giant lines. 5.30 Sunday morning. Okay? Place is packed. Finally get to the gate, the flight, JetBlue 1179, nonstop JFK to Turks Caicos, set to take off at 6.55. On time sticker. As soon as I get the gate, I go, great. This is going to be great. It's a three-hour, 15-minute flight. Okay. 6.55 rolls around, delayed. They put 7.55 on there. Why? They make an announcement. The plane is here in New York, and it's being rolled out to the gate. Apparently, that takes an hour. Okay. People sitting there, all right, what are you going to do? plane has to be at the gate for you to get on. Then at 7.55, delayed again for an hour. This time, nobody says why. We can see the plane at the gate. Nobody says why. 8.55 shows up. Delayed another hour. Now we're working on hour three. Nobody says why. Then I get involved. Okay? I thought it was discourteous to all the people on the flight not to even give them a reason the flight is more than two hours delayed. Right? Okay. Now, when I buy and when you buy an airline ticket, that is a contract. we, We pay our money in return for the service of taking us from point A to point B. That is a contract. And it's a literal contract because the airlines, if you read the contract, they've got you every way. Okay? But it's a contract nevertheless. And they have to uphold and get you where you want to go or they're supposed to pay a price, which they don't. So I get a supervisor from JetBlue. Finally, he walks out. Um, doesn't know me, which is good. I don't want preferential treatment. I don't want any of that. Okay. And he's a wise guy. He's a wise guy. Now I'm getting a little heated, a little Irish. Okay. And I said, Hey, you're the supervisor at this gate. We've been waiting here now two and a half hours and you are not updating us. All right. And he gives me some kind of this. So I'm not going to get into that personal thing, but everybody heard it. All right. I made it quite clear that I wanted him to find out what the deuce was happening, as would be my right as a consumer who already paid for the ticket. Okay. Fast forward. The flight took off five hours and 40 minutes late. Most of the people by that time had left. They went over to a Delta flight at 11, which took off pretty much on time. Okay, so there were only a handful of us left at the JetBlue gate, but I was going to stay to see this through. Five hours and 40 minutes late. You know why? They didn't have a pilot. There was no pilot ready to fly the plane. None. They had to drag a guy who was off out of his house. He had to drive to the airport and he finally showed up. That's why they knew they didn't have a pilot. JetBlue knew it. They had to know it. And they hosed everybody on that flight. So I kicked into action. I tweeted about it, got picked up everywhere. Bum, 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 bum. So today, If you read the Wall Street Journal or most of the other newspapers, JetBlue announces because of this, trust me, that they're cutting back their flights in the spring and summer because they don't have enough personnel. 